Welcome to all those viewing online. We get set this morning. Which session? Fifteen. To do our thirteenth session, reading from Bhagwat. Let's all stand as we begin with the Arjun, as we worship the Lord. Wherever you are, wherever you're viewing, if it is just in your heart, give a second. Remember, the purpose of RT is to make an offer. So sometimes when people have stroke, when people are in different circumstance, maybe they can't where they are. They, they live in a dormitory or they live in a hospital or a hospice. And it is not possible to have Hawan and RT and Dia and these things. In the concept of your mind where you are, you are supposed to be able to envisage the Lord. You know what he looks like. You know his features. We are going to get into Christian discourse soon. Last night we did the making of Vaman. The making of Vaman. We went into why and we did Payo Brat this morning. We go into Lord Vishnu's form and why he did what he did and these three steps. We know some of it. We want to know the rest because Bali has a very big post for Lord Krishna, you know. Please listen today. Let's join together as we do his RT. Sajam chavarti sanyuktam grahinayojitam mayam Deepam grehana devesham Trilokya timida Praham Alukai Jaisi Bhagavad Bhagavad You are home. Sing along with them. Sing along everybody. Let's do it together. Papiyoko papachi Tadati Jaisi Bhagavad
have your seat cordial welcome if you came in after if you joined our stream after we have been reading about the Vaman discourse and we went in last night into the depths of the Payu Brat that his mother Aditi endeavored into for 12 days in the month of Halgun She's praying for a hero to come and save all her children. And Kasyap, the father, gives 
all the directions. And in it, we heard that a person who is doing pyobrat must construct the baby out of dirt where pigs, where boars have trampled and their foot has pressed. And that might sound strange, but when a person is creating different type of altar, different type of mud, source of mud is used so that when you're touching the mud, you get blessings. A simple example of that is when people are making a mud murti of Durga Mata. Not Kali, not Lakshmi, but Durga. You go where a lady is, is sapping, or she cannot remain, to be honest, she cannot, she has the patra, she cannot remain married. Or she is breech birth, or she has this gift, again related to the sapping. Sapping is when the, the lady born and she has a birthmark, I would say birthmark, on the body as if like a squiggly line along the spine usually. And it causes a horrible marital experience for this lady, but she's quite useful for John Public. She rubs you, she listens to your problem, she takes your problem. So people seek them out. When baby is now born, when they have problems in their life, when they want to get some advice, these type of ladies assist a lot. But the reason why they tend to have a troublesome marital life is because, it, in, lo in, in simple language, Durga Mata could be a very jealousful force. When she gives gifts and she bless somebody, just as we saw when we were talking about this Bihari, why we say um, in Rabban Bihari Lalaki, Radha gets vexed when she is told, I will not bid you anymore by Bihari. In the same way, when a person is conflicted, do I do Devi's worship? Do I do her vrat? Do I do her puja as disciplined as I should? Or do I try to live a normal marital life, husband and wife, coming together to make children, etc.? You will see more or less the, the worship of Durga if the person is not careful. The worship takes precedent. If you don't do the worship, bad dreams, sickness, trouble, divorce is possible. So the lady now who has this sapping, she's born with this predisposition, that she's not going to fare too well. Just as if somebody's Mangalic and there are traits, Mangal Dosh, there are traits that come with that, with that karma that affect marital life. They're predisposed to never getting married or they get married after the age of 37. Usually they, they struggle to have children. They, 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 if they have, they have one girl child. A good example for you to see that trend in the book come into real life is this, act, this actress, Ashwarya Rai. Perfect, beautiful person, you know, a lot of accolades, but couldn't get married. Only when the prayers, the Kum Viva prayers is done, and she marries Mahavishnu in simple language, and that praschit right is done. Praschit is, dear God, I was, maybe in my last life, I was a horrible spouse, and I did cheat, and I did hurt, and I did harm. And in this life now, I am being born in a way that because of my temper, because they tend to be very aggressive and foolish, they make very, they, 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 their intellect, how they react to things, how they interpret things, they always miss the boat. They always overreact. And in some cases, underreact. When they're supposed to show gratitude and grateful, you, 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 you'd always find these type of people lacking in that regard. But when it is to get aggressive or show their temper, they could do it quite well. If a person is suffering from Kal Sarap Dosh, between Rahu and Ketu in the birth chart, they have this alignment of planets that cause, amongst other things, they start to dream and they always seem to attract snakes. They have a very poor relationship with this thing called luck. Me and you go to buy the car, but you are Kal Sarap Dosh, a person under that paradigm. I will get it for nearly five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars off. And you, you so lucky, the guy will want to raise the price on you. 
So the person always say, oh my God, I'm so unlucky. If I had gone yesterday by the store, I'd get it sealed. Today I come sealed up. I so unlucky marriage. I so unlucky job. So unlucky life on the whole. And you feel as if you're not getting a break because the thing that we call douche is not gra, 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 patra change from year to year in the course of your life. So a patra, a gra actually has a start and stop point. But douche remains with the person. It is part of your persona. And you try to shanty it. You try to quell it by certain rights. But it does not disappear. So when now you are doing this Devi Murti and you're trying, okay, why would you create a Murti? The purpose of creating a Murti, well, when you don't have a Murti, you want to get a Murti, is easy to see. But then it gives the person the blessing that when they are doing the Visarjan in, the, in, in fresh water, proper, proper Visarjan, where they're letting the element that was put into the Murti, you're releasing the thing, you're burning sin to cut things like douche to cut bad luck remember we were chanting um the nursing rena mochan stotra when people are overrun by debt when the debt seems like i just paying the interest on the credit card but i am not really tackling the principle i work for a salary that comes at the end of the month but for the whole month i am using credit card so when I get the money now, it's really just to pay back the credit card. And then next month, I have no money again, my salary finish. So I have to use the credit card for the whole month. And then month then I go pay it again. When people talk about a debt cycle, that is, what, that is what they're referring to. You are never, never going to be able to save physical cash. And you are always in payback, payback. Payback. Some people literally live perpetually in that cycle. Some people never have the comfort of knowing if the doctor says, listen, bring $10,000, we have to do surgery on you now. They never have the peace of mind that I could call on that kind of support. So when now the person, whether you are having dosh, whether you are having gra, whether you are having this type of financial burden resting on your mind, you could come and dress here in Kurta and Sari and be the best devotee with everything. But when you go home and you lie down on that bed and you study T and Tech, they want to hit your property tax. They want to come at you for this and that and the other. That doesn't disappear because your name Hindu, you know. But you could use your Hindu prayer to help that come under control. Last night I mentioned how you use water and Varun Gaitri, Jala Bim Bahaya Vidmahi, that mantra, and you could put diabetes under control because of your karma, because of abuse of water when people de degrade or take off their clothes and, 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 and do all kind of lewd and rude acts in water. One of, the, one of the outcome is that you get disease in your blood, in your body, that cause you to have a problem with the element of water. One example is diabetes. And there are people who could be diabetic and live normal and happy and very comfortable life. They take a piece of a tablet and they're under control. They're very disciplined and they can handle it. They look quite normal. And then it have some people watch the food and they have a problem. They eat the food yet. They, they suffer. They go through sickness, infection. Again, karma is played. But if you as the individual does not see the link between your worship and the trouble that you have, I have trouble, I need to worship properly or specifically to my problem, then the question will come, why are you praying? I am sure there are people, I am sure there are people looking on that when you are frustrated, when you are met with hardship in different forms, where that prayers go do for me? Where you me fast and go and do for? That taking away the tea and tech bill. But if now, as a business person, I want to increase my sales, I want to prevent theft, I want to bring the love back in this marriage, I want to bring back the passion in this marriage. I want to bring back the honesty in this marriage. And you're telling me it have prayers for that? 
specifically for that problem? Well, then I have a reason to try it. Then it have a reason to endeavor into prayer. And when the person takes from the property or the dust off the step, the front door, the entrance of a lady who is, for example, a sapin, and they construct the murti for Durga, and you feed that murti, and you bathe that murti during the morning, evening time, you will have reading and puja, and then time come, you're going to do the surgeon with she. The person who have a lot of financial debt, a lots of family physical debt, people losing their life one after the other, and you want to put a stop to it, you want to slow down that. Imagine in some families, one person die. I don't know if you know about this, I just, knowledge. Somebody dies. They start, funeral go on, and they start, second day, third day, we go in, but not 10 days yet. Somebody else in the family come and die. As a Hindu, do you know what you do? Stop the first fella, first death, offering of the pinda, all this kind of thing. This guy has to wait. This person now do his funeral and start to check one, two, going up. When he reach 10 day Bandara, then start back this and continue. It's a very long process. You can't go and try to do the first debt. Think what I'm saying, eh? If I do the bandar, it means the house becomes clean. But I cannot offer the sapinda because the second debt is causing the place to become unclean. So if I do the first guy in terms of the sankalp, in terms of the offering of the pinda, I say, okay, I'm offering this. Bless the place to clean. But wait, it they clean yet. So a good example of that is during COVID, you saw some families have up to four debt, one after the other. So what happened nearly for a month was pinda, 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 because I had to now wait one stop. After four days, wait, eh? Next one, three days, stop. F third debt, wait. Fourth debt. Think what I say now, they're about, let me say 20 days done past there. And all you get to do is offer funeral, and one or two pinda. When as it going further now, and you want to close off on the day for the bandara, when all of them pull up, you have to offer sapinda for each one of them. So in your prayer, everybody knows. Understand? I just using an example. It is something practical. It could happen. Let me say somebody have sickly people in the family. But what we know as prayer in our dharma, and it is so vast that you could add, depending on the nature of what is happening in your family, intricate offering, mantra, stipulated prayers from we text that brings about blessing depending on the situation you have. No two funeral is the same. It's common, pinda, chandan, perfume, but depending on sitaram, depending on what is happening, it has little differences. So when, when we talk about Pio Brat, Pio Brat is when Sitaram, a mother is praying for help. People use, use this prayer to overcome, as I said last night, when people have the risk of um, uh, genetic disorders, things like the, 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 the rare blood type, things that pass from mother to son like that, you do this prayer before the baby is born. After doing the prayer and waiting, Lord Vishnu appears to Aditi and Kasyap Muni and taking that form there, Parikshit wants to know the exact yoga, the Abhijit, Mo moment, that moment when Lord Vishnu appears. Let's join together this morning. <coughs> On the live, everybody, let me say sit down to Rick. All of you that are viewing, 
Sidaram, 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 who is Baba? Just confirm for me, somebody, that the volume is perfect on the live. Could you just send us a message? So, Lord Vishnu, he's about to take form. Let's hear what happens. Jai Bhole Baba Tab Sharanam Jai Bhole Baba Tab Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tab Mrityote Bhatuke Atam Vaman Drishti Modhana Madhana Maharishi Karmani Atam Pura Kritaye Prajapati Jaya Bole Baba Jab Sharanam 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 Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Jab Lord Vishnu first appears, just like in Krishna discourse, comes with the huge form, beautiful description of the crown, the necklace, the stamp of the Guru, Brihaspati on his chest. We will do that discourse, don't worry. Shankar Chakra Gada Padma comes to bring joy. Aditi drops down and she is helpless, she cannot say a word. What would you do if God appeared in front of you? You know, sometimes you think that's not possible, that's not going to happen. What would you do if God came to your dream and came to talk to you, came to interact with you? This is this lady's moment. So upset. She needed help. She called on him ardently. All my children are in trouble and I need help. I need help. She did not know what form help will come in. So now he's appeared. The last thing she is thinking, he himself is coming as her child. She doesn't know this. And she says, I need help for my children. I've been praying, Prabhu, please give me a solution. Give me a mantra. Give me something. Give me the help that I need so that I as a mother could save my children, please. All the devtas, all the kinaras, all the different heavenly bodies are witnessing how pure prayer works. That even if you and I, who may be selfish, who may be self-centered, call upon God, God ain't going to come to appear in front of me just like that. But if done properly, look this lady, who is like to say lady is less than. Some people treat ladies with less than, they don't know, they don't, they cannot do this. They are the frailer gender, they are the frailer sex. But look here now, that this person has the strength of devotion and causes Mahavishnu, as he said in previous discourse, he becomes a slave. He tells Durbasa, the incarnation of Lord Shiva, I become the slave for that person who prays ardently. And when she says, I want somebody to save my children, he says, mother, there is nobody like me. There is nobody who can act like an actor. Act like me. There is nobody in this way to behave like this. I cannot fulfill that wish in that way. But I can come myself and be your son. I can come myself and be your hero. Jaya and Vijaya, Prajapati, all the different heavenly people are in, they, they are in shock to hear. What he is what he's offering, what he's promising. And he takes form because this lady cannot talk. She's trembling, tears are running from her eyes. And just in front of them, father and mother, a dwarf, a baby with earrings, with gem, with a small frame takes form. And they accept him as their son and as time is passing shortly after the assault is done they put janeu the surya dev chants the ravi suktam Brihaspati gives him the tread kashyap muni gives him the black deer skin 
the, the, the land gives him the soul staff and his mother dresses him and wraps him in a piece of cloth and gives him a heavenly umbrella. So sometimes when you see Varman and he has the umbrella up in the air like this, that moment is being done here. He's showing mommy, look what I got, look what I got to bring joy to this lady. Veda Gharva Ye Aati Pusha Sapta Ye Drishyate Akshamala Maharaje Tam Taras Ye Vyat Ye Aatav Jaya Bholi Garba gave him a commandal that would never run dry. All the steps up the Rishi, they gave him the job. Mala, watch his pitya, you'll see he's holding the Rudri. He's holding it and he has the commandal with the umbrella and he's going. He's getting ready to go. Where is he going? He's going to the Yagya. The Yagya Shala of Raja of Hali. He's having prayer. This man is destroying heaven, killing innocent in heaven. He was a good king. He was a great person, but he gets infected. He gets influenced. He gets carried away. Wearing that crown, Kaliyog is in that head and is causing this, this Rakshas type person to become bloodthirsty, blood hungry. He wants more. He wants more. He does not know the attitude of contentment. At no time, he just wants to be able to beat the other person, beat the other person. And because of that lack of comp compassion, he is causing trouble. So, very calmly, Raja Bali is inviting everybody to come to his Ashwamedya Yagya. And Vaman is preparing to leave mother and father to go and do the bidding of the universe. And he goes to the Yagya where everybody, everybody is watching. He goes under the name, what is the other name for? Vaman. In South India, you will see they call him Brigu Kutch. Brigu Kutch. Some people, some people mix up this Brigu Kutch with the son of Beam in Mahabharat. It, they call, there's a son called Gato Kutch. These different people. All the Ritwik, all the different Brahman that have been assembled to do Raja Bali's puja, they are looking on because who is this person? Is this Sanat Kumar? Is this one of those Brahm Rishi? Who is he that he is glowing? It is as if when he takes all the energy from the Havan and he passes it on his body, just as a person could bathe with Basma or, or ashes, this person is tainted by the energy now, the lust of the Havan. How is it he is glowing? Is it that his commandal is blessed with the Ganges? Is it that the umbrella is coming from um, Sheshnag? Is this some divine entity? Who is this Vipra? Vipra, another name for the person who is wearing just the string, the Janeu, the twice born individual. The dwarf came there and wearing that Kush as a Janeu around his chest as well. He is wearing a little scarf. He's wearing a little, a little piece of loincloth and he's coming and he's bringing the energy, the luster into Raja Bali's Yagya. The host of the Yagya sees this and he knows you and me, we don't know the blessing of going by the Pandit, the Ritwik, and you catch him. You're so happy you get him to come. Look, we get Pandit Raymond to come back with me, Baba. Sit down and welcome. And I get to wash his foot. I get to massage that foot and take the dust off of that foot. The king, although we call him Rakshas, consider what I say. Remember, I said in the beginning, there is a debate whether he is a Rakshas. In South India, people respect this man till this day. People celebrate him because of who he is and the work he did and does till today for Christian. Raja Bali had to hold on to the crown because he went down, knelt down, and he washed the feet of Vaman. And in doing it, he was washing the foot of Lord Vishnu, but he did not know what he was doing. He was burning away the sin of his entire family. Prahalad is now a very old person, 
and he couldn't bend. He's sitting there and he's watching the younger one. You're the king now. You do the work. And he leaves him under the supervision of Raja Prahlad. Bali went and he bowed. Welcome, oh great Brahman. Welcome. What could I do to please you? What could I give to make you happy? I, I feel so good that under my roof, under my keep, you have come here like a deuta. Please tell me what I could give you out of gratitude for washing away, for having given me the opportunity to touch your feet, to do Pada Puja. Please tell me. Let's hear what happens. Holy Baba. give you something that you don't like or you don't appreciate. I could give you a slipper to fit my foot, but you would not be able to wear it. What sense it make? It has to be suitable for you. I am the son of Virochan. Virochan did not want to follow in the deity of mentality and he wants to become something else and he became a kind of sannyasi, so he left. And he says, I grew under the hand of my Aja Prahlad. He's the witness of the development of religion. And because of who he is, he taught me. There is no sin, no cause of misery. As much as the person who disregards, the person who is a dwitch, the person who is a vipra, the person wearing that janeu, they come to my home, foolish people, turn them back. They do not offer them something to drink. Here is an opportunity sent by, sent by Prabhu, sent by faith. And if it is little kindness, respect, consideration, the person who disregards makes enemy with such a person, which hell would be able to hold this person? Because hell on life is coming. Hell in the afterlife is waiting. And the person seems to never, never get a break because their life becomes very unlucky. They begin to inherit a type of existence that they are damned. Go again, you're damned. Next day, you're damned. That every aspect of your life, you always lose. You start a job, you're lost. You start a job, you're lost. You start a job, you're lost. You must lose. What is one of the cause of this? When you cause enmity with somebody who is wearing that janeu and they are doing job, they are doing they are doing different type of drug. They are channeling and calling different mantra. Do not entertain enmity or disrespect to such a person. He says, Prahlad taught me, don't do it. Born in this dynasty of the Hiranyakash, the person who was all over this world and all over this family, he taught this family. He's the one that taught the Varaha. When Hiranyakashipu fights nursing, in everything that they did, they were still able to respect the tenets of Dharma. And today I am here and I am begging you, tell me whatever, whatever I, you want, I'm going to give it to you. 
because I want you to be happy. I can I cannot ad, I cannot admonish you. I know I know the glow that is coming from your body, what you bring to this house, and I am not going to leave. I am not going to leave you until you shanti and tell me what I could do for you. Evam sachidaru pakshi sharira madhyam vatvyate surendra vrishvaye namal yenatha yenatha tam jaya bole baba After realizing, now in this moment, this is a very funny thing. In order for this type of virtue to shine through, this conceited man, he's running behind the goal. He wants the, the accolade of owning Indra's heaven. He, all the time he was doing this type of aggression, there was no compassion, there is no forgiveness, there is no forgetting the past and moving forward. This man was in a different place, but now he has washed the foot of God and a transformation is happening and he didn't realize it. Maybe you have to see the features of these pitiers, these murtis, and then you realize God is in front of you. But Sukhdeva Swami is telling Parikshit, the energy of Mahavishnu in coming to him, in coming to, to uplift him, to bless him in the guise of Alila, sends his Maya into the nostrils of Raja Bali so that in the moment he does not want to get up he does not want to separate there is nothing more important to him now his eyes are only fixed on the feet of this short little man there is no there's nothing else to do than study him and in doing it by listening by watching he is gaining the devotion and the, the sin washing method of praying and he wants to please him. Now the heart is very humble and full of virtue. He says to him, please tell me, Prabhu, what could I do? What could I give? What could I do to help you, make you happy? I want to wash away all my sin. When you come to my house, it is for my benefit. Please. Now notice, it wasn't just as Bali as we think it sometimes. Bali walk into the man prayers and start to stamp his foot all over the place. It wasn't just so milking listen to what he's doing Lord Vishnu is milking the sin out of this man the transformation happened first you have to ready yourself for God not because God come you're going to get ready you would never act you would never be prepared you would, you would miss the boat like the person with the mongolic you would be in the prayers and none the wiser you would be blind you would be lazy you would be your mind would be somewhere else You'll be consumed with something else. And when Mahavishnu was ready for him, he says, oh son, what could I want? He says, when people make mistakes, when people make promise, what was the deal with the, with the land? What's the problem? Why you just give land when you give your cedar? You was the Hindu. When you give in the little Tulsi plant in foreign, when it's winter, we give flowering plant. Why do we give the pot? We give it because of the mud, not so much the plant. The nature of the plant could change. But the person, maybe now we don't have the finance to give a lot of land for an acre land for a temple or for a school. And long ago, those things in India, that is still done. We give that piece of land for the hospital. We'll give it to the hospital car park to assist the community. In text, they talk about dredging ponds so that animal life could get water. But when you give the piece of land, if I broke my promise, you know, I say when I pass the exam, I'm going to do a yoga, I'm going to feed people, I'm going to do a satsang. And when time to do it, not people there, forget the people. But God, no, you made that promise, you made that sankal that I'm going to do it and I broke it. Imagine now with people, how many times we make barter, we make our agreement and we, we jib, we break the wood. He says, you know what I want? I want you to give me land. 
I want you to give me land so that you could gain the blessing that if you ever made a mistake, if you ever made a promise and the promise was not kept, you would not have that burden of sin on your back, dear son. Today I ask it just for three footsteps of land. I do not want anything else. I do not want the gold. The gold to me has no value. Look at how I am dressed. Where would I put the gold? I don't even have a bag. Don't give me anything to put in bag. Raja Bali says, Prabhu, sometimes as a boy, you want this. But when maturity comes and you become a senior man, a seasoned individual, then you will go back and say, you know what? I wish I had asked for more. Because now with vision and maturity, you realize with three foot of land, and look how small your foot is. I cannot build a house, I cannot build a shed, I cannot build anything. But when maybe family life come, when different responsibilities come, then you go say, oh God, I should have asked that pundit. That king was more, man, I was foolish. Don't be one of those who miss the boat, that you are in an opportunity to gain blessing and to gain favor, and you throw it away because of your own ignorance and your own lack of thinking. Don't do that, Pandiji. Don't, do don't make that mistake. Come on, ask for more. Open your heart and see what I could do to give you a better, a better man. In making you happy now and long term, I will gain blessing. Not only today, but always to come. Let's hear what he says in reply. Mama Vachano Bees Maradhyata Loka Name Ye Maheshwara Pada Yatra Pada Pira Pada Satwe Budi Ye Nama Dwaiti Ye Nasadhyati Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sarnam Baba Tab Sarnam He says, what you have said is very lovely. But if a person cannot be satisfied and contented, I'm asking you for three footsteps. And I cannot find satisfaction and contentment here. When you give me four, you think I'll find contentment here? Do you think if you give me five, I will find contentment here? You could give me an entire island, a block of land, spanning water on either side. Do you think that will be enough for me? There are some people, if they cannot find contentment, no, they will never see it. They will never have enough. And that will fest and eat on a person. All I want is my three footstep, Prabhu. I do not want, I do not have an urge, I do not have anything for more. He says, do you remember the Katha of Gaya? That person who says, Prabhu, I want when people come to see me, look at me, they must become sin free. G1 Muk must be immediate. And he was helping so much people. People didn't have to pray. They just had to go to him. And when they spot him, they became sinless. So Lord Vishnu asked him, lie down in the land and let people come and do worship here. And when they come and worship you because you live in the land, your energy is in the land, they will be able to get. So when you hear the pundit them conjuring and calling the different energy, Ayodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kanchi, Gaya. Gaya is one and we call that land on the baby so that the person who does the worship here, does shrad here, all the ancestors go and get blessing. He says for Gaya, that land has value. The land where he lived is value for other people because of the use. For this three footstep, it will have use and it will be enough. It will help. Don't worry. This is enough. <laughs> Oh, 
सदाशिव तब शरणम विन्द्रावन बिहारी लाल की जय ही सेज इफ ओ भाली इफ हैप्पीनेस इज व्हेन यू आर सेटिस्फाइड आई वाज फीलिंग एंड आई एम सीइंग इट इन दिस वे फॉर चिल्ड्रन इफ वी illustrate the, the science of bhagwat just as ved vyas did with examples that punctuate your life then a person could say you know what true i understand that i get that but the problem with young people today there's a disconnect i don't understand vaman i don't i've never seen a lion head on a human body how does that science apply to my life but if i am feeling to eat chana and aloo and pondi keshava am making no chana and aloo oh god oh god oh god and then somebody give you chana and aloo think about it and see yourself now in the moment you wanted man bog i live abroad and i never get to eat prasad like how did it make it back home the patch way the, the proper way i don't know how to make prasad and i come home and my poor make some and she say come and eat and you're standing over it you're, you're sitting by the table and the scent is entering your nostril think about you in that moment think about anything you want you know your work as a young person you fight hard you stay up late you're doing project you're doing computer you're doing this type of dissertation for the person who afraid to talk to a crowd The person who is ready to talk on a microphone in front of people, you do it, and somebody come and they hand you a piece of paper. That means you attain a certain level of education. I get through the, all this hardship. I do it for this. I get through with this, and you hold it in your hand for the first time. For years, I was working for this. I get through. think about when you start to feel if you understand what I say imagine the young the young fella anxious to drive and he get the driver's permit ah boy no my father in trouble and he holding it and you feel the texture and you appreciate if just that firsty you buy the new car and you smell the car you build your house you buy your house you walk through you smell your house the pain the different senses the clean and you appreciate things that you might never appreciate again after that it will never be the same your first is your first he says if a person is satisfied that is happiness then if you're trying to tell me you want to make me happy don't give me what you think will make me happy give me just what i want i want little bit and that will make me happy that will fill my heart and little things could grant a person a great amount of happiness but the person has to have the habit of being contented the person has to see that in a little a person can find a lot of goodness and happiness because too much of anything could lead to destruction it could lead to corruption it could lead to becoming now a burden a buy the car the car very expensive the car look nice and this young young people that they like to drop the car low to the road it look nice real nice i spend plenty money to get that and then you drive it in trinidad road for those of you looking on trinidad road is like a dirt track a different and then you have to cry now because all the money i spent oh god look what they're doing with my car think about how the same thing you work and was happy at one point to get becomes a burden it becomes a struggle it becomes a fight when people talk about okay i want to build a nice big home okay build a big home and for the rest of your life you're afraid the bandit coming to take what you have in that nice big home the person who have the little shack what me and you go laugh and say look here i have no ambition boy what's where he build that man have happiness 
That man could close his eyes. Consider this, you build the big house. What you build it for? Not to be happy. How much happy you gonna be after you build it? And somebody gonna come now and tell you property tax and this tax, that how much you had to pay to paint it, for example. And the fella who have not even furniture in his shack, he's sleeping when the night come. Nobody about in here. The bandit might come and give him to ply board and say, here boy, you think you're really looking bad with you. Let me help you. But nobody steals his peace of mind. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not advocating not having ambition, but I'm advocating that in the different levels, when you have the little job, you now come out from school, and you're working towards part-time, I'm going to advance myself, get something, I'll get a better job, and you work your way up in this life. You could be happy with what you have now, and happy when, when, when you reach. But what we do say is, when I get my BMW, I'm be happy boy. But the 120Y was working pretty good all the time. If you do appreciate where you have, and where you start, and where you begin, how you gonna appreciate when you attain something. How you gonna, how you gonna say, you know what? Me and this man married 25 years and boy for 25 years it was really a fight. Truthful. When we celebrate and we cut in that cake and we did together smiling, be honest. It wasn't smiles every day. I celebrating today because I work for what I have. I didn't just sit down and 25 years pass. I slaved, I cooked, I cleaned. That man went to work four o'clock in the morning and came home sweat and tired. For 25 years, I gave my life in service. When the person going to meet Yamraj in Gita Mahatyam, you'll come across it, and the person does their parabd karma. Parabd karma is God make me a mother, God make me an aunt, God make me a teacher, God make me a friend. The different roles you have. And in that role, what did you do? I did my job. When I had to be straightforward with my brother, you're doing stupidness. I was honest. I was straightforward. I did my job. I am not here to make friends. If you think you have to mamagai people in this life to get favor, fortune, you're going to be mamagai a lot. People don't get enough. And they will always want to take, take, take from you. Children will take. Spouse will take. Everybody's taking. I did the analogy once. Tell me if I'm wrong. If this is your little peace of mind, your little happiness, your little joy. What are we talking about? Happiness, right? When I get my little doubles, my little chana and alu, and I smell it, I'm happy. So I'm happy, peaceful. You jump in the car, the traffic, take peace. Peace of mind gone, stress. Your job, the boss, the spouse, the children, everybody taking, taking, daddy, mommy. And you know, the good parent, the good spouse, had to give, what are you going to do? When did they finish? Just one day, sit down. Just one day, this is what you're left with. You drained, you drained. And nobody's billing you back. Nobody's holding you up except for your God. Your God is the only thing when you touch He and you make the contact. Oh gosh, get the strength to do it again tomorrow. Narad Muni, there's a discourse where Narad Muni is saying, Lord Vishnu, you know, I know, out of all the creation, I'm your best devotee. So Lord Vishnu knows Narad head flying a little too high. He, before somebody could give you a compliment, you complimenting yourself in this way, you is the best. Oh God, leave that for somebody else to say now. Nah. Humble yourself a little bit. But in this instance, Lord Vishnu, who is always, he is a devotee of me, you know. When he made Narad Muni the monkey face, that later on would cause Sri Ram to end up with an um, army of Vanar to teach him the lesson of don't be vain, don't get distracted, not because of loss, go down a different road, I'm going to save you, Narad. He did it then, he's doing it now. He says, are you sure? He says, yes. He says, okay, let's put it to that test. I don't agree, I don't think you're the best. 
I, I, I know who's the best. And I feel you are not ready for that person. Say, all right, let me go and test it. So now, right now you know, you, you, you ever see somebody, you challenge me, there you get you know, blood close to the skin, angry. Prove it to me, God. Gone by a poor fella, a farmer. So now I'm money watching around, no sadhu, no, you know, gold accolade, no, no temple, no, none of these things. A poor man, dirty place, unkept. They go into the room, they see him churren, 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 churren. And they find a man living by himself. Turns out the wife had died. He says, Narad, watch it, watch. Let me come back here just now. Take this deer, go around the earth three times. So you do it. One, two, three. He said, Narad, how much time when he was doing that, he was thinking about me? How much he was happy? He said, probably you're mad. But children, they all understand what I'm saying. But children don't understand. Probably you mad. I watch anything you tell me, don't let the oil spill, don't let the deer out, and I trying to make sure with all the space now are going so quick. How oh, I got hard time to study you, you wicked. It's okay. Let me go back by the farmer. The day start. He bathing and he plotting the little girls here. See it in your mind. Prabhu, me and know what are doing here now, boy. Hey, bless this hand now. Let me learn to plot a little proper. Me and know. Gone down in the kitchen. Me and know to any salt. I could cut up the curry. But me and know when she was here, she used to throw the salt. She was the ace in the cook. I learning. God bless my hand to sprinkle the salt a little bit. I hope these children eat the food today. Because I get the bundy pot two, three times. <laughs> Come in. God, look, they're getting ready to go to school now. Bless them. Go with them. Let it be safe. Eh? Take care of them for me. Take care of them. Go on in the field to plant the crop when the children leave. Prabhu, if you put a cloud over that sun, I'll sing for you. Jai Krishna Hari, Shri Krishna Hari. And he planted a little crop burning in the sun because that is how he's going to make his change to mind his children. So he's happy. Me and you going out, son. We grumble. But believe it, the person who finds the happiness in planting, in seeing this plant come, look my corn coming, look my pepper coming, to me and you who go only see the hot sun, how you going to find happiness in that? That man have to be mad. But he so glad he talking to a little plant and he molding the plant and he's happy, genuinely happy. When he leaving, he feel proud of leaving. Bless my plant, bless my crop, protect them, take care of them, reach home. Prabhu, look at the children, reach. Thank you, Father. Let me do it again. Look, they're going and eat. Bless the food. Let go in the belly and get them stronger. Go on, on the bed. Narad Muni and Lord Vishnu watching him. Go in and say something bad now. No, no. Narad Muni wants us to see. See him trip. He said, Prabhu, I don't know how I get through today. Because of you looking out for me, I know I get through. Give me the strength to do it again tomorrow. I hope I could do it. But with your help, I could do it. Vishnu Bhagavana Ki Jai. He said, Narad, you couldn't watch one deer and think about me. He said, this man has four or five children like deer in the light. That's so critical and brittle. And when you show me which moment that man wasn't with me. He wasn't any man there. He wasn't offering prasad. But I, I had to leave Vaikunt and I had to stand up with this man because this man is not letting me go. He is dragging me. If he planting peas, I had to go with him. Planting corn, I day with him. If he plowing the land, I day with him. How I go leave this man? This is my best devotee. He says, this is what is happiness. But sometimes when people like this king and imagine this is the enemy. He take form to beat him. But look at the teaching this man is getting. He says, learn to have satisfaction in your life. Because if you cannot have contentment 
we will go to Christian. You will go to him. And you only want to say, give me, give me, give me, grab, 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 grab. I want, I want. That is all your prayers going to have. But if you start to find true happiness, like, you know, when Mirabai wrote this on Pio G. Mene, I found devotion. In worshiping you, in washing your foot, I found that bhakti. I found what I needed. And now there is nothing else in my vision. There is nothing else to see. There is nothing else that is important because I realize what is true happiness. Bali is looking for happiness. He wants more land, more gold, more property. And he is not getting enough. He says, look at you. You have conquered the earth. You have conquered the heaven. And you feel one day I will be happy. Tell me what you will conquer and you will be happy. You're so busy buying and putting and putting. you like a rat. You're taking and just pushing in a room. You can't wear it. You can't, you can't use it. You can't eat it. You can't buy it. Yeah, I want to give it away. A good example. With all the barton everybody have by their house. Big, nice pot and tower. But long time upon the and we are using tower. People don't cook, bus up, shot by their house again. Not the typical person. We go pay somebody to do that. Too much work. Tanti and them cannot wash the pot. Gone are the days, remember when the men used to cook? Ladies wasn't in the kitchen, you know. Them dabla and them pot wasn't made for women to live, truthfully. It's still there, so they can't live now. But inside the person, I can't, I can't, I can't give me surrender. They mine. They mine. I are using it. I are shining it. But that is my one. I'm just talking about that, eh? Just the pot. Just the pot. Nothing else. <laughs> He says, Bali, if you have to become a better person, a more happy person, he says, this is all I want to bless you with. In your yug, this is your yug. And if I have to come to your prayers, I want to give you that which will bring happiness. Happiness. Give me my three footsteps of land. And in doing it, that contentment will come to you. Prem Sabala Shri Vishnu Bhagwana Ki Jai. Smiling. Smiling. Vaman. Vaman is looking at Bali. And it is said that Bali is not realizing that he is face to face. You know, the, the dwarf would be very short. So Bali folded his foot and he sat on the ground. And the eyes are interlocked. And he doesn't realize that he is watching eye to eye with Lord Vishnu and by being in this position, Sitaram, by being in this position, he is burning away the sin. Peacock feather, right? Everybody home, peacock feather. And people use it to jari. But more so, watch your Christian. And you just do Christian puja and you believe in your Christian. Why your Shoda Mata put that peacock feather here? You're getting ready for Krishna. Remember this part in the dress of Krishna. It had a purpose behind this peacock feather. The discourse for this comes from the early part of Valmiki Ramayana. In those days, Ravan is a young fella. Single, not married. Very strong and he wants to express this strength. Beat, pick and fight with anybody and everybody. So he goes where Yamraj... Indra and other devotees have gathered to do great Hawan, Homa. And they are offering again sweet rice into the Hawan, which is doing it in the wedding, Vijaya Hawan. You're asking in one breath, forgive me my sin, so I could become great and illustrious. But in doing that Hawan, you cannot break the prayer. There's rules for that. You cannot allow Tanti with the pot day. All right, hold up on it and tend the pot and come back. This is not that type of moment. In fact, before you start it, settle yourself. If you have to go washroom, if you want to sip water, whatever, because of age, do those things before we start. When we start, we are stopping. Rawan reach up as the people gather to do the Hawan. And he start a bari. Who is here strong enough to fight me? Only when all your blood start to fall on the ground, I will be satisfied. And the devotees knew. 
Mm -mm. This is a test. We're trying to do we good, we're trying to do we praise, and something, faith, that same Durga, that Durga is testing we to see what is happening. I see the hand of the goddess, you call yourself a devotee, let me put a little spoke in your wheel and let me see what you're going to do. Let me see how you're going to act. Let me see how you're going to behave. Indra said, not me. It had animals gathered to witness the prayer. Indra jumps into the peacock. Yamraj jumps into the crow. And others jumped into different animals. So when this was finished, all right, just I'll go tell you. That. When hiding out, Yamraj, um, Rawan looking, looking, there had nobody, only seen animal, and Rawan couldn't burn him. You all are so coward, cowardly. You hear somebody calling you to fight, and as Shatri, you go run. Quarrelly, 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 eventually leaves. And now all the devotees come out of the animal. Indra says, the eyes of Lord Vishnu burn sin. Purify, clean up person. Aura, physically, takes away sickness. And pushes away bad. Let from now on, peacock, in your feather, the black, the iris, the ball, the eye, the black part of the eye, sit on the feather. You see this part here, I don't know how good you can see it. When you're done, watch it. Let the eye of Vishnu sit on the peacock feather. So go back to your Krishna. Remember you love him, eh? Krishna is yours. But you have to understand that you have to get ready to listen. In Bhagavad Dharma, Bhagavad is being used to wash and to change you. And, and I was saying, you have to bathe before you do your prayers. Bhagwat is washing the person with these discourses so that when you get ready for the Christian Lila, you're ready to accept him. Look at your attitude. If we're talking about contentment and happiness, I have to change the way I just think before I go to do that man prayers. Then I go see the change in my life. Yashoda is at a point. I realize my son could chul chul and he could bad lucky. Somebody always trying to kill him. Mother, and this is not looking at him as God. This is a mother. I need to protect him. And I'll put it over his head on the crown. And wherever he go, let his peacock, let the eyes of Vishnu push back bad. Push back bad. Push away people that wish him bad. That is why he wears that peacock feather. When people decorate the office, maybe I can't put a murti, but I could put the peacock feather in different ways, in place to shield and shun people that will try to take your happiness, people that will try to interfere with your peace of mind, people that will try to rob. So if you go into a business place and you see peacock, you go in a car, you see peacock feather, you go in a temple and you see peacock, understand what it is. It is a protection for your happiness and your peace of mind. Do not touch it. The eyes of Vishnu are there looking. So when Bali now, he's not watching Peacock Feather like me and you. We, we're not blessed like him. He's watching the actual eye. And in it, all the mistakes is being burnt away. All the bad is going. Par Parikshit is saying, is this a battle? To me, it sounds as if somebody is being blessed. Somebody is being given an opportunity to uplift the self. Please continue. Tell me what went, went on with the three footstep. The guru of Raja Bali come. Shukracharya, he come and he say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you know who that is? Are you so blind? Are you so stupid? You don't realize your enemy is in disguise, incognito, and he's come here to kill you? Wake up from this spell. Stop it if you give him that three footsteps of land. This is Vishnu, the same person you're fighting. But you see, by watching in the eye and getting, getting the removal of the, the maya, the thing that is causing him to act out and act wrong, just now we talk about girl, we talk about dosh, we talk about sapping. Something caused a person to act bad, act wrong. The children who have autism, the full moon, the magnetic pull of the moon caused them to act up. Something is causing it. It's not just so. But now, 
it seems as if you are in a trance. Somebody use Vashikaran mantra to entice and entrance and in capture you. Stop it. If you give that three footsteps. Verse 33, chapter 19. If you give that three footsteps, where will you live? Bear in mind, the foot small. But watch greed. Watch the advisor. Watch the influence. The people you have around you, giving you what, how to think, what to do. You ever go on to somebody and say, how to think about this, what to do? Now man talk to you, so leave him. The person who whisper in your ears, is he that it had God or he had devil? Because this person, you trust them so much, they will guide your next step. In this case, becoming so purified, becoming so blessed by the touch of Mahavishnu, Bali ignores his guru totally. He says, if this is my, if this is my enemy, this is enemy to have. I have never felt so peaceful. I have never felt so contented. I have never felt so happy. I will give this gift. He's just asking for three footsteps. What will I block this for? For my grandfather's words, for all these people who came before me in my family to feel ashamed. If this is Vishnu, I will keep to my word and what come after come. He who holds back lies and says, I cannot afford to give a gift to a beggar, to a pundit. That person has to answer for that lie. I don't want that problem. I don't want bad luck or ill luck because of a lie. I don't want to do that. I want to stay to the truth. I have promised him that I will give these three footsteps of land. And I am not going to allow that word to fall. Because then I would not be an ordinary cheat. I would be a cheat to somebody or against. I would be a cheater. Against somebody who is wearing that janeu, that person who is practicing the vrats, that person who is doing the diligence in doing prashit karma, amassing energy inside of the body, or me go and cheat that man, you're afraid I get karma. Where I go live? Where I go live if I lie and cheat and be untruthful to somebody like that? What kind of advice is this? Therefore, I will confer upon him what he is requesting. And whether he be my enemy, whether he be Vishnu, whether he be proficient in Ved and it is causing him to glow like this, whatever it is, I accept my feet. Shukracharya becomes very angry and he says, I leave you alone. I am not bothering with you. You want to do it, do it, but you're not doing it with me. I am no part of this. Vindravan Bihari Lala Ki Jai. And you know the story, chapter 21 now. He takes the first step after growing. Takes the first step that takes the earth. Second step takes the heaven. All the, all the demons, all the army, they become, they become dumbstruck and then they get very aggressive. What is this, Sitaram? What is this? This has to be Vishnu. This is some spirit sent by that side to take advantage of us. This is not his original form. This is not his original way. And he's trying to, he's trying to rule our leader. Let us attack. And the same Bali says, eh, stop, don't do that. Do not attack. Do not rob me of this moment. Don't do it. I am getting to keep my word. Nothing is happening here. He asked me for three foot step. He never tell me how big the foot is. He never tell me which foot we are measuring by. Wait. Do not spoil. Do not be the person to corrupt my prayer. If a person is doing yag and you are the person to bring shortcomings, some form of illicit action, some bad, you will tote the sin against the host, against everybody that fall in that yag. Because of your action, your mind, this is one of the cause when people in, later on in life, they end up with dementia. Or in their next life, they have schizophrenia. And you wonder, wow, God make everybody, according to the Christian faith, God made me, he made you in the likeness of his image in perfection. 
But where could somebody tell me where was God when somebody was being made with schizophrenia? When they started thinking inside of me, I have split personality, I have that bipolar disorder. I have different thinking. No, I am good. Next minute, I will kill you. But God make that person. God pray pray manjali tell you from different sins. You want to harm your mother-in-law, you want to harm your mother, your bad talk, your guru, your ill speak, the books that guide you in your next life with that gyan. You have so much gyan that you know more than everybody. Don't worry, brother. In your next life, this is not going to work properly. Think about people who go in people's prayers and instead of talking upright, honest, righteous things, they want to entertain only gossip. You see, you're cutting up the tomato seed in your mind. You see where she were last night? You see who she come to fool? When they're the young, they're beating the body upon it. Up and down the road. That is the source of your discussion over something like the tomatoes that is going to be offered into the fire to feed Christian. That is what you're doing. When you do that and you start to get blues, think about your lack of happiness. I cannot get what I want. Don't study. Somebody physically hitting you. You are living, but are you happy? Are you contented? Could you smile when the day comes? No pundit. Me are happy in this marriage. Me are happy with these children. Me are happy with myself. I don't like how I look. I don't have confidence. I want to slit my wrist every morning. I have an issue. Could it be you and how you conduct yourself in your day-to-day -day life? When you hear people say you're going to cook, cook with the right way, the right thinking. Think what you're doing. You are offering the nourishment for another being, dog, cat, man, family. You're feeding other people, but you are coming with tamsic thinking, tamsic behavior. He did really bong to eat that next roti. Me, I want to offer this pigeon peas, you know. That man bring that. This damn man pigeon peas. You ever hear people talk so? Them they fight. Watch how this thing is go fire. Them was fighting the father for the piece of land and the mango tree grow on them side. You see, that mango don't bring that in this prison. That tainted with the legal fight between the two of them. But who really tainted the prison? Who really tainted? You telling me that if a prostitute, if a person who is a bandit walk in and say, Pundit, look, I bring two mango for you to Charhawi. You really feel that lady or that man go change the taste, flavor, color, curry? But you're telling me you go change the sweetness of the fruit that the Lord go accept? What you busy judging and you find happiness in it? Yes, see. Yes, see who fooling who here. And porting you is the fool in the set because you're fooling yourself. That person, every person does make mistake. And you're trying to get this person back on the righteous path. Come, come, come. So we just invite people to praise, to listen to the Lord. And maybe you see tomorrow, I'm going and change. I'm going and pray different. I'm going and act different. I'm going and cook different. I'm going and think different. That way you want. If everybody is righteous and his angel will partner you in the wrong place, go in heaven. Dead and go. What you doing here? We are all sinful and we need the guidance of things like Bhagwat to find the way to the Lord. That's what we're doing. We want to be like this fella who gone and he make all kind of trouble for land. And he fighting people and he make a mistake. But God decide to shine he eye on this man. And this man now people family don't understand what gift God given he. That he had to tell them, hey, stop, wait, 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 don't interfere with this. This is a great moment. This is something for me. God sent it for me. I am getting this. Don't stop it. Imagine. I went. Southern Medical had a person that was dying. The family come and they say, Pundit, please come and read a little, you know, Gita prayer, something. In case Ma die in the night. Doctor said how much they could do again. And because of family squabbling. Not to say property and all that. It didn't reach that far. Just I don't like to hear that one talk and that one don't like to hear this one talk. Me with myself, going with my shaligram, 
with the little water, you could see it in your mind, wash it, and the older sister stand up on, let me say, close to me, to witness mommy getting the shaligram water in her mouth. This one say, stop that, don't give she that. Don't let my mother get the shaligram water when she dying because this sister close to me. The mother is the victim here. Imagine your child becomes so corrupted, you're so unhappy, you're so disgusting, that the lady final peace and happiness, you want to rob that. And it have that in this world. You know how much in families, and we have different religion, let me be honest, and we talk about the Buddha incarnation, it have a role. Hindu don't discriminate. I could invite Christian and Muslim and Baha'i and everybody to sit down here and are very comfortable. Me and about you, but my God could be anything. And any and everything mean everything. God make everything. Well, then hush is everything. Don't vex. But when you feel you want to control God too, you'll get a little tired. When people get confused, when people say, my God is the God. So imagine, imagine, Buck, I join a new religion. Yeah, I talk in truth, eh? Tell me if I'm wrong. Me and eh, I find them pin down, them thing all the old people is to do. Watch how I believe in something. But that mean what you did doing was wrong. It can't be God and God. God is God. It cannot be that. No. It has to be my new one, my newer feet. Sanatan Dharma has been there for some time, if not all the time. Yours now come, and that's your mother. That is your father, not my one. And you cannot see it in yourself, just as how you would hold a hand to go by the doctor. The doctor ain't for you. You're not going to do the CT scan, but you are there. You are doing you're driving, you're walking, you're helping, you want to boast. I take care of them. I change the pampas. But now because my faith is different, I have to stop. Then your God is a full stop. Then your worship is breaking prayer. Causing damnation for this person that believe in certain things. And instead of helping find happiness for this person, why? Why? What is the purpose of your prayer then? Look at how people think and see that even in the praying, you get corruption. Is your prayer bringing happiness? Is it bringing change? Is it bringing help? But you're going praise. Are doing praise. But I really find the prayers ain't working. Could it be we're praying wrong? This is the message that Vaman brought to the earth and he started with Bali. He says, if thou, if you, oh, oh, vam, oh, Bali, I put one foot on the earth, one foot in the heaven, but where the next foot going? Are you trying to rob me, king? He says, Prabhu, if you feel I am the type of person to rob you, you would have never come to me in this way. I do not fear any depth of hell. I do not fear any noose you want to pull me. I do not want the burden that I robbed you. That I said I would do something and I am not doing it. Mm -mm. Me what that burden. Don't do that. Believe me, I do not want that trouble. Prahalad happens to come. The yag was going on. Prahalad reach. Now all and he started to talk to the Vaman. He says, Oh, Ma Vishnu, you came to save me in the nursing form. And by your grace, you blessed me to let me see you again. Now you're in this form. What joy you bring to me and my line. You're going to take my grandson? Well, you have to take all of us. So there's nothing wrong. You're going to give him the greatest gift now by the verdan of seeing you. Nothing else has happened yet. I know my grandson is a good guy. I know he's a good boy. And I leave him in your care. 
Prabhu, I am grateful for the honor and the blessing that you have shown to me and my family. He says, when you reach at this point, now you're not studying property. Now you're not studying spouse. Not you're, you're now not overwhelmed with fear. Remember, a lot of your, your choices have been ruled by fear, afraid, you know. So I go pour on burglar proof. Afraid, you know, so I'm doing Hanuman prayers. Why is Hanuman prayers so popular? Fear. Why is Kali Mata Puja so, so popular? Fear. Don't do it. Something bad will happen. But find within yourself that I want to pray. I want to worship. I want to do it. Simple prayers. I need to say his name. That is when you're doing the prayer properly for proper purpose. He says, God bless you, grandson. Today you have made me proud. He says, answer him, tell him where the foot is to go. And listening to the advice of his wise grandfather, Bali says, you have guided me correct. I do not want a curse to fall upon my family. I want to stand in truth and truthful things. I do not want to deviate from virtue. Therefore, dear Lord, rest your foot on my head. Let me become your property. Let your energy fill me and Take me and allow me to be a better person. You put me in Sutal, Patal, any place. I will do your bidding. Please remember this part. I will do your bidding. I will become your worker. I will become your emissary. Put me where you will. And Mahavishnu becoming so pleased with him. Just before he puts the foot, he says, I put you in Sutal. I will come to look for you one day. You will do work for me one day. That is when your blessing will reach to the heights where I need your help. You will become somebody that I have to come and beg. Please, could you assist me? When I come as Christian, remember hinting it. Look out for it. When I come as Christian, I will need your assistance. Go and wait for me in one of the lower looks. In Sutal, the person is, being, is not being punished. There is no disease. There is no exhaustion. There is no need for sleep. You are, there is no more fighting. You are just going to be happy. You are just going to be peaceful. Enjoy the break from all the aggression that you have grown with. Now is a time to put down the trauma and just breathe and be happy. Blessed is the person that listened to this discourse. This type of pronouncement gives the individual that listens to it the ability to walk away from those things that are plaguing your life, such as bad memories, traumatic experience, things that build fear, things that make you act in, incorrectly that cause you to damn yourself, that cause you to bring hardship and hurt, not only to yourself, but to your family. By the blessing of this and the virtue of Lord Vishnu, the person is going to get the blessing of having the foot of Mahavishnu in their life. The stamp of Lord Vishnu is going to guide the person in their deeds, their action, their thinking, how they behave. When they go to press, for example, they would now be humble. They will understand their role. Why I came? Why am I sitting in the audience? To listen. So you're going to see somebody. Let me just say, I sit down as the Baba and I only sing down in the press texting, 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 texting. Now, the same person going to know, you know what? It have a time and place. I come here to hear. Let me do what I come to do. Don't let me get reproached. Pundit, you're only there on your phone texting, texting. What's wrong with you? That this is not the place for that. So it has to be the place for something. Do what you come to do. Vindravan Bihari Lalaki. Jai. As we take a pause in our reading, this is again a drama fall asleep. Everybody will be really tired. <laughs> As we take a pause here, this is the Vaman discourse. What happens next? He puts the foot on top of him, and the soul comes out of the body. The devotees shower the blessed, the prayers, flowers, everything, as we see sometimes in the TV shows, 
upon the body, the frame, his monster of a form of vermin. And before he leaves the earth, he went and he bowed to Aditi, the mother, who prayed via Payovrat to bring him. He says, Ma, my work here is finished and I must go. But Bali, and Bali is also, I'll give you that discourse in the next, in the next session, the string with his be tying on the hand, have a little, a little rap with this man. It have a little immortal part with that string in your hand. Where it came from, it have to do with this discourse. Lord Vishnu tells him, wait, I am coming. Just as he did Hanuman, just as he did Jamwant, this was before that. Sri Ram is nowhere ready to walk the earth. Hanuman does not exist yet. But Raja Bali he was, and he's waiting for Sri Ram to come and go, and then Krishna will come. Then he will get to help the Lord. Vindravan Bihari Lalaki Jai. Everybody, at this time, let's stand as we do our closing arti, as we'll pause, and then we'll get ready to go again in our next session. For those of you joining me live, I hope you are enjoying our satsang. I hope you are benefiting. I'm seeing Auntie Kamla from the Shiv Mandir in New York. Sitaram Auntie Auntie Kamla. Everybody, let's join together. As we do our arti, put your hand together and close your eye and you say a prayer. Dear God, help me to learn to be contented. When I have rice, thank you, Lord. When I have roti, thank you, Lord. When I get the gourmet um, food that Uncle Shiva is cooking every night in the jug, thank you, Lord. Don't kick food. Don't kick the salary. Don't kick your spouse. Don't kick the house. Don't kick the dog. Don't kick your children. Oh, you should have passed a presentation. You only go in a junior circle. God, be grateful your children living and they're happy, they're happy and they're fine at school. God bless them. They go do it. Dear God, help me to better myself. Dear God, transform this fool. Transform this sinner as you did, Bali. And raise me up, God. Raise me up. Sajam cha varti sanyuktam Grahina yojitam mayam Deepam grihana devesham Trilokya timirapam Jai Jai Bhagavat Bhagavan ki Hai aarati Paapiyo Oh, 
Bless me and bless this head if I'm making a mistake. Show me the way. Show me the way to change so that I do not become a demon that cannot find happiness. So I am searching and looking and I'm looking in the wrong places. God, give me the vision and the drishti like the eyes of the peacock feather to shun bad and bad advice and look for good and good things and good advice, good ways, good places. God, with your permission, I could see that reality. And I beg you, help me. Tvameva Mata Tvapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandusca 
Everybody, please have your seats. 